Hi, I'm Angus. And g'day, I'm Tom. Welcome to Smoke and Dagger Barbecue. It's a big night on the beers last night. Yeah, mate. Had a few too many brews, you know, sitting down watching Top Gun. More than truly had my dose of America. I need some Aussie in my life today. Aussie? Like, like Roo on a Q? Roo on a Q? Yeah, like kangaroo on the barbecue. Ah, oh, you mean Skippy Burgers. Hold that thought. Guys, let's get some Skippy Burgers happening. So for this Skippy Burger, we're gonna use a combination of Angus beef brisket and kangaroo fillet. Anyone that knows burgers will tell you the secret is a good fat ratio. So we're gonna to wanna to dice this kangaroo steak up into uh, some chunks. And these, these chunks need to be small enough to go into the meat grinder. So what we're gonna do is nice even strokes with your butcher's knife. It's not rocket science. We're gonna try and go for these cube type shapes. Cut along the grain. Inspiration for today's video really did come from the Australian coat of arms. Emu's in short supply though. Since the Great Emu War, numbers have been down. Just harder to find on the supermarket shelves, you know. For those not familiar with kangaroo steak, it's got a dark purple color, very little fat. Next up, we've got the Angus brisket. It's quite a hefty cut. We're looking at about one and a half kilos here. So the added weight we get from the Angus brisket is gonna allow us to play with the ratios. Just given there is very little fat tissue on the on the kangaroo steak, we're gonna need a lot of the brisket fat to play a starring role in the burgers. Again, we're just trying to cube these out. So we're looking for nice, easy in size, dice cube, away you go. For anyone who's a complete and total savage and hasn't had brisket burgers, go out there and give this recipe a try even without the skippy. As the saying goes, if you buy mince from the supermarket, you're gonna have a shit time. But that doesn't mean you have to go rush out and buy yourself a mincer. What I can recommend you doing is going to your local butcher. Just talk to them about, you know, how do they make their mince? Maybe they can work with you to try out some different fat ratios. If they sell brisket, maybe ask for them to do a specialty beef brisket mince. Really help take your burger game to the next level. You can see this big fat cat playing a huge role in these chunks. That's 100% required for these burger mix. We're gonna be chasing about 30% fat to protein ratio, especially having to offset the leanness in our kangaroo steak. So like all good things in barbecue, it's not an exact science. Again, we're looking at a ratio of about one part kangaroo, three parts cow. All right, we're gonna start mincing now. This is really the fun part. Make sure that you're adding the meat in a consistent ratio just to make sure you're getting that fat flavor all in the burger mince. We're good to go. You can see the riding on the pavement. Young kids that growing up in basements. Online, a whole new generation. I'ma make fun, so you better go take it. Always they need a new replacement. Decentralized, can't contain it. We're changing lives, yeah, upgrading. Call it to us. A few moments later. All right, so now we've got this beautiful mince here. We're gonna to wanna to make some pretty decent sized patties. Uh, these are gonna be reverse seared. So don't have to worry about them being thick. Smoking is gonna ensure that they're thoroughly cooked. Really just going for size, it needs to fit nicely on a bun. Working these in your hand a little, it's gonna create like a bit of a bonding effect for the meat fibers. Hoping these burger patties pack about as much punch as a buff kangaroo. Gonna use some dry rub to add a bit more flavor onto the crust that's gonna form once these uh, burgers sear off. We're gonna use the Barbecues Mafia, the Enforcer. This is a nice, sweet heat dry rub. And what it's really gonna bring is a good coloring effect to the burgers as well. Salt, pepper, paprika, a bit of sugar in there. Just go through, give them a gentle pat. Flip them over. Do the same with the other side. These burgers are looking on the money. See you over the pit. Step on, 
Wake up, brother, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day. Call it replication. Wake up. Thank mm-hmm. you.